Welcome to Getting Started with Lithos POS. Lithos POS is a simple and easy to use point of sale software solution for retails or restaurants. This works perfectly in iPads, Android tablets, or Android POS terminals. To sign up with Lithos POS, go to www.lithosPOS.com and click Try It For Free button on top corner. It leads to sign up page for Lithos POS. Then select your preferred store type. If you need KOT feature and other restaurant specific features, you should select Cafe Restaurants. And then fill other details of your store and click Start Selling with Lithos POS. And verify your email address. Back Office. To log in with Lithos POS Back Office, go to Back Office URL and enter your email ID and password and click Log In. It leads you to Lithos POS Back Office Dashboard. This dashboard will help you to have a quick overview of your business, such as daily, weekly, and monthly sales, sales statistics, etc. Settings To set up your account, click Settings. It will direct you to Settings of Lithos POS. In General Settings, enter your details, such as business name, your website address, your time zone, tax type based on your country and state, and the currency you use. In the Features section, you can enable or disable the features based on your business needs. The Shift feature helps to track check-in and check-out of your employee and count cash on each session. Customer Loyalty. This option helps to enable loyalty option on your business to give you some loyalty points to customers. Rounding. This is the option to round currency decimal points automatically based on your settings. Here you can specify the rounding figure. Barcode SKU Auto Generation. This feature helps to generate barcode automatically. Managing Payment Types. Here you can add or manage payment types by clicking Payment Types. Here you can see the payment type cash and you can add more payment types based on your business needs. Enter payment type name and choose method of payment, whether cash, bank, or other. Then enter the receipt name of the payment type to show in receipts and check store names in which this payment type is applicable. If you have multiple stores, here you can assign a payment type to a specific store and click Submit. Loyalty Settings Lithos POS have two types of loyalty options. One, loyalty points, which means you can set loyalty point and set a minimum purchase amount to earn one point. Then set a minimum point to redeem the loyalty points. Two, loyalty amount. Here set bill amount to earn $1 and set a minimum amount to redeem loyalty amount. And click Submit to save your settings. Store settings. To set up your store, click Stores under Store and POS Settings. Here you can see your default store. Here you can add new store by clicking Add Store. I'm going to update my store. Click on the default store. Here you can update the store name, store phone number, and address. In Receipt section, you can change the name of your store in a way you want to show in Receipt. Now add footer text to show in Receipt. If you need to print separate lines, add the greater than symbol. Here you can upload your store logo that will be displayed in email receipt or e-commerce panel and upload print logo to print logo in receipt. Now enable automatic email or SMS receipt option. If your store type is restaurant or cafe, you can see some restaurant specific features in store features section. You can enable or disable this feature based on your business need. The KOT feature. You can print KOT for each order or display KOT on kitchen display. On enabling this, you should select type of your KOT. If you want KOT after completing payment, select KOT after payment option. 
If you want KOT before payment, select the KOT before bill and payment option. Or if you want KOT before payment and need to print bill before payment, select KOT then bill then payment option. Table options. On enabling this, you can add your table and floor structure and take orders for the table. Dining options. On enabling this feature, you have dine-in, takeaway, and delivery options for orders. Terminal settings. A terminal is a device we use to check out customers in Lithos POS. The terminal could be an iPad, Android tablet, or Android POS devices like SunMe, or any Android POS devices. Click Terminals to update your terminal or add new one by clicking the Add Terminal button. I am updating the default terminal name. Click on the terminal name. You can choose your desired name. And you can change the store or receipt prefix and starting number of invoice. Managing employees. To add your employees, first you need to specify a role of the employee. To do that, in left menu, click Employees and click Roles and give a role name. Then check the permissions allowed to this role and click Submit to save the role. Then add an employee by clicking Employees. Here you can see all your employees and their details. To add new employee, click Add Employee button. Here you need to enter employee details. Then choose Employee Role from the drop-down list and enter a username and password. Confirm the password. Now choose a four-digit PIN for the employees to log in to Lithos POS Terminal. The PIN must be unique for each employee. And fill other details and upload a photo of the employee. Choose the stores in which the employee can have access to. If you wish to give a back office permission to the employee, you should tick the back office access tick box. Your primary setup of Lithos POS back office is done. Getting started with Lithos POS iPad and Android app. To set up Lithos POS Terminal, first we need to install Lithos POS app from Play Store on Android devices or from App Store on iPads. Once the installation was completed, open Lithos POS. To begin with, log in with your registered email ID and password. Then select the store. This option will not show if we have only one store. It will lead to terminal selection. This option only shows if you have added more than one terminal in the back office. Otherwise, it automatically selects the default terminal. Once terminal selection is completed, start syncing the settings and data from your account to the device. It takes only about two minutes. Once the synchronization is completed, it leads to employee login page. Here you need to enter your employee PIN you created earlier in back office to log in to Lithos POS app. To open the register, simply tap Open Register button. If you have enabled shift settings to track your employee's work shift system, we'll ask you to enter your opening float for the shift. Here I am entering my opening float and notes for the opening and tap Open Shift to start the shift. This is the main page of Lithos POS Terminal. Here you can see the categories and items I have added in back office. Setting up your terminal. To set up your terminal, click the menu icon on bottom corner and click Settings. Here you can customize some functionalities in Lithos POS Terminal. By using Camera Scanner option, you can use your tablet iPad camera as a barcode scanner. By enabling Full Image Card, you can view full images of your items in Item Card. Print Order Confirmation. If you want to print all the orders, you can enable this option. Then we have On-Screen Keyboard. By enabling this, you will have a fixed keyboard in right bottom to change the price and quantity of an item during billing. Auto Print option to print bill automatically on completing each sale. Dark Theme option to enable dark theme for your terminal. Language option to set language of your terminal. Setting up printer. To add a printer, go to Printer Settings. Click plus sign on the right bottom. Enter the name of the printer. Next, I am selecting the printer type. Here you can choose Bluetooth, USB, or Wi-Fi network. Here I am selecting Bluetooth. 
Click the printer from the printer list and select your printer. Next, you choose the printer size, whether it's 2 inch or 3 inch printer. Click Test Print to confirm if the printer setup is ready. For network printing, you should specify printer IP and port. Once it is ready, click Save to save the printer. You can add multiple printers based on your needs. If you have KOT printer here, you can add and set as a KOT printer. Start selling. To make a sale in Lithos POS, you can simply tap an item, it will be added to the cart list. Or you can scan an item barcode using barcode scanner. It will also get added to the cart. Or you can search by clicking the search button on top and click the item. It will get added to the cart. You can change quantity or price of an item by clicking the item in the cart. And in bottom keyboard, you have three options, quantity, discount, and price. You can make the desired changes in your bill. To delete an item from card, swipe the item from left to right and click delete. If you need to add a note to the sales, click the three dots on bottom corner and click note. To add a customer to sales, click C icon on top and search customer by name and phone number or scan loyalty card of the customer. If the customer is not there in your database, simply click the Add Customer button on top of the list to add the customer and add them to the loyalty program also. Then you can email them a digital receipt. The customer is added to the sales. To complete the sale, click Pay button on bottom. It will lead to the payment page. Here you can add a discount to the sale by clicking the discount button. You can add discount by amount or by percent. I am going to add a $2 discount and click OK to add the discount. Here you can choose integrated or manual payment methods as you have added in back office. There is a quick cash payment method on bottom of the screen for quick cash payments. Also, you can split payment to different payment methods. To do split payments, click the dots on the corner of tendered amount and enter amount tendered. Here I am adding $100 by cash. The tendered amount is added to the payment list and balanced by card. Now your sale is complete. Here you can send digital receipt to your customer by entering their email ID and you can send the digital receipt or you can print the receipt. If your customer is purchasing a gift, you can print a gift receipt by clicking the Gift Receipt Print button. To start a new sale, click Continue, and I'm ready to serve my next customer. Refund, Void, or Exchange To make a void or refund or an exchange transaction, you first need to select the sale. Click Menu icon on bottom corner and click Report, then Sales. On this list, choose the sale you want to refund, exchange, or void. To void a sale, click three dots on right corner and click Void. It will ask a confirmation to void the sale. To refund or exchange the sale, click Refund or Exchange button on top. It will load all items to the list to complete the transaction. If you want to refund or return a specific item, sweep the item from left to right and click Refund. If you want to refund a specific quantity of an item, choose the item and change the quantity. It will automatically calculate the refund value from the item rate. Then click Refund and select the payment method of refunding. If your customer wants to do an exchange, add the item to the cart and click Pay and pay the balance if the exchange amount is greater than the refund amount or refund the balance payment by selecting the payment method. To close your shift, click Menu button and click Close Shift and enter your closing amount. To close your day on Menu, click Close Day button. If you have any questions, take a look through our Help Center or get in touch with our support team.